Hello, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. And today I want to get some stuff done in the nether here. So let's get right to it, shall we? First thing I've done so far is uh, I built me a little road here. Leading to... Guess where? A different area, of course, but what's at the end of this? We will find out right about now. Look at that. This is my unfinished nether fortress, and I plan to build on this today quite a bit. And it will be a lot of fun. Let's take a tour around this thing real quick, and then uh, I'll get back to you. Just enjoy the tour. this is the inside what I've done here is uh, on the roof as you can see it's just normal nether rack I figured it was a nice contrast and what I'm walking up right now this is uh, sort of my teeny tower small tower here I guess you can pick off bad guys from here and there's there's a, a roof right here and I plan to build me a nice big tower and those zombie pigmen, I think they can spawn on on any location in any light level, I believe. I'll have to look that up. So it does no good, I guess, to light, a, light the area up. But I can always uh, half slab everything. I don't think they... I don't think anything can spawn on half slabs. Not even in the nether, so that's that's one good thing, I guess. I'm going to try to snipe this gas real quick, if it's possible. Nah, it's too far away. Let me try again. Yeah, it's too far away. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have ho a permanent house gas, because, unless I half slab everything, but... I don't know. I doubt I'll do that because there's... I'm not sure if they have half slabs for the nether rack. Nether brick, I should say. If they do, then I'll just probably half slab them. And as you can see, I took one of these towers of nether brick. I've already mined one out to make uh, what you saw are already. And I'm going to need a lot more, so I'm going to mine this tower that you see in front of us out. One thing about these magma slimes, they, they rarely drop magma creams, you know, rarely ever. I think it's a lot, um, a lot more rare than the normal slime to drop you know regular slime not that it's a big deal because blaze farms are guaranteed you can you can always have one if you find another fortress you got a blaze farm right there easy so it's not like they're that big a deal to, to make Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think it was episode uh, f three or four where I was in the nether here. And those gas were just causing me so much trouble. It's taking me ten minutes just to kill a gas because I didn't have a bow and arrow yet. But <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, on the next map when they make any significant changes that I make, it'll be, uh, well, if I, or next time I feel like making another map, but <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely going to take a bow and arrow before I even go. It's one of going to be my precursor requirement before I even go to the net the first time. Because I'm gassed. I mean, they're a pain. The pigmen are harmless if you don't hit them. And I plan to keep them neutral because I don't even know if they drop meat anymore. I killed a few on a different map and they didn't seem to drop anything but the little gold flakes. But... I think it would be kind of neat to make a like a gold farm with the zombie pigmen, but the only problem there is I don't want to have to half slab or mine out 140 in every direction just to get a you know a decent efficiency f farm going on. Because I can never seem to have the good luck and have any large lava pits. Like on some of these uh, YouTube videos, I've seen people that have just massive lava pits, so it's not a problem for them just to go in the center of it. But me, I never have a nether uh, generated where it's not just basically all nether rack, which is, you know, random lot or magma pull, pulls here and there. But that's okay, because gold isn't that all isn't all that rare. Uh oh, what's happening? That was weird. Glitch central there. I seem to have a ever since 1.32 came out. There's been a lot of glitches, a lot more noticeable glitches. Like I didn't notice any before. Like you, you go to YouTube and you people explain the glitches and then you go, oh yeah, that's happened. But I mean, I've never actually noticed them myself. Or cared about them myself until 1.32 came out, and it's like you, there's easily noticeable and annoying glitches. Okay, I'm just scouting out the area here to try to find out like what I'm going to build on top of here. I want to build a tower. I know that with uh, rooms in it, but where in the center? Maybe right about here somewhere. I don't know. Let's let's see what I'm gonna do. Maybe let's light this up first. Yeah. So the so you can see everything. Yeah. Okay. Now where? Now where to put something down? Uh, let's just. Uh, yeah. Let's throw something down. Right here. Okay. Let me put something down just to see how it looks real quick. I might just tear it up, but I gotta check it out. Like four by or two by two. Hmm. No, I don't like it right there. Um, I need to put it probably on the edge so that I can crawl up and when I need to. Probably over here. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'll put it I'll put it in the corner there. That I think that would be a good idea. Yep, right here, perfect. Whoops. Dang it. <laughs> I need to make it five by five, so <laughs> 
Yeah, it's funny, 5x5. Five five. I've been watching too much uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's what Faith always says. 5x5. Five five. <laughs> uh, that's four. I need to make it one more longer. But I'll do that in a little bit, I guess. Put me a door in here. Eventually. And I need it. Yeah, okay. I better make this wider now. Before I get too far ahead. Then I'll need to block that end piece off. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Perfection. Well, not really, but <laughs> good enough. Ever since you were able to crawl up these vines, I think it was in, well, the official release, I think. Because you couldn't crawl up them in 1.8, and I didn't play.
Hopefully I have enough to finish this floor, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Look at that efficiency on that. <laughs> it's something else. Well, I think I understand how to use a enchantment table a little better. Like when I showed in the previous video, enchanting a two enchanted items... And it, it, it yielded a too expensive, which I don't understand why, because ten minutes before that, I uh, it showed like, you know, like what was it, 37 level, 37 levels to enchant it with a fortune two and unbreaking and efficiency. But I think what I'll do is I'll, if it's possible, I don't know if you can take a regular diamond pickaxe unenchanted with an enchanted pickaxe because then you can transfer the effects over like efficiency five plus unbreaking three transfer that over to a you know once it gets almost dead or destroyed transfer that to a you know unenchanted pickaxe I don't know if you can do that but if you can that'll be that's really awesome that's a better much better in my mind use for an anvil than I was thinking it was meant, you, meant for which was uh, combining enchantments on two enchanted items, but I'll figure that out once this pickaxe is about dead and go see if I can transfer it the effects to you know a normal regular diamond pickaxe and that's all for now thank you for watching goodbye